Hey y'all, this is my Memphis hat right here. Memphis Redbirds. <laughs> my girlfriend says it looks like a MAGA hat. No, I'm not a MAGA Republican, y'all. <laughs> Anyways, let's get over the hat. I don't know why you're stuck on the hat. I just had a great conversation with an accountant. And um, <laughs> wait, before you close out of the video, this is important. If you're, if you're running a music business and you're sending invoices that get paid by check, like when you play at retirement communities, they pay you by check most of the time. I actually had two conversations with two different accountants and um, in the last like 15 minutes. And here's why, it's because every month or so, I try to go over my invoices and if there's anything that's not paid yet, I follow up because sometimes things happen. And I had a check that bounced. It was a check for $325 and it bounced. And I was like, oh no. Like I, my mind went to the worst. My mind thought, oh no, this facility is going bankrupt. I'm never gonna be able to play there again and I'm never gonna get paid for this. Well, that's not the case at all because I called her this morning, left a message. She didn't call me back, and so I was worried. But then I tried calling again, and uh, she picked up, and she said, don't tell me your check bounced too. And I said, yes, it did. And she was like, well, it's not exactly a bounce. There's a problem with the clearing process at their bank, and she's gonna reissue the check. And it was as simple as that, as simple as that. Sometimes it just takes a phone call, and you have to be kind of proactive. Um, she was dealing with uh, a lot of different facilities. I mean, a, a lot of facilities, a lot of different vendors. <clears throat> and a lot of different facilities deal with a lot of different vendors, so it's complicated. And it's, it's important not to take it personally if you don't get paid on time. But it's also equally important to follow up. Now, I was talking with another accountant today because they had missed some checks, too, because that happens sometimes. And this is this is the minority of, play, of facilities that miss payments. Most of the places will pay you on time, and that time for the turnaround of checks can take a couple weeks and sometimes a month, month and a half. So that's why I recommend, if you play piano in retirement communities, to save up because there is a lag in the payment process. If you're living paycheck to paycheck, get as many gigs as you can handle, and then save up. Cut your expenses, save up, get that cushion going financially <clears throat> so that you can have more success and you don't have to be stressed living paycheck to paycheck. Anyways, the second accountant that I talked with, I was asking her, hey, do y'all ever pay by credit card? Because credit card, I have a payment processor, I use Square, and credit cards are usually the, um, the method that's used that takes the least amount of my time. So with a check, I have to go to my mailbox, and I have a UPS box, because I move around a lot because I'm currently renting. So I have a UPS box for my business where my checks are sent so that there's no confusion, so that I always know that they're going to that same address. I rent it, it's like, I don't know, um, it's like $250 a year. So it's like 24, it's like 20, 20 or 25 bucks a year. Not bad at all. I mean a month, 20, 20 to 25 bucks a month. I got distracted for a second because I'm turning to drive to Oxford. Today I'm playing Senatobia. Oxford, Tupelo, and then Oxford again, and I learned the Oxford Ole Miss fight song, because I'm playing at a tailgate experience for the seniors, it's going to be fun. So that's, a, as a side note, if you can play the college fight song, or the, like, the local sports team song, or, like, the local treasured song, then you're going to get in with the, with the locals. It's, it's wonderful. Okay, anyways, I'm sweaty because I was playing in a show and I was working really hard earlier in Senatobia and it was hot. But anyways, um, right, this conversation with this accountant, um, I asked if credit card, if they could use credit cards, they said they can, but they don't like to because 
a lot of the time they need those credit cards for emergency expenses or last minute unpredicted expenses. For example, she said that they didn't get bread with their last food delivery and so they had to run to Walmart and pick up like a ton of loaves of bread for the residents because they didn't have any bread and they put that on the credit card. Well, if they put the, if they put entertainment on that credit card, then they would have less wiggle room for emergencies. That's why they prefer the paper check. And then I asked, well, what about HC transfer or ACH transfer? And they said, actually, we could do that. And they're going to send me a form. So this could be a big deal because ever since I started this business, I have been aware of the time that it takes out of my schedule to go to my mailbox, to get all the checks, to open all those envelopes, to take pictures of every single check and upload it to my records, to uh, tear off the check stubs, to ch sign every single check, to drive to the bank, to fill out the deposit form, and to put everything in an envelope into the tube to be deposited. That takes time. Now, if you're just starting out, then you better believe that that's gonna be a fun process. Because when I was just starting out, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm getting all these checks in the mail from a business that I created, and I don't have to work for anybody except the residents whom I entertain and the staff and activities director who I wanna have a good time with. It's a fun business and getting checks initially can be awesome. But now, I have so many checks that it can become overwhelming, which is a great place to be, but it's still a problem. And uh, the AH, the ACH transfer, I keep saying AHC because that's American Healthcare is a company that has healthcare places that I play at sometimes. ACH transfer is uh, what's, I think what's gonna save me a lot of time. So I'm gonna see if I can set that up with all my accounts. And instead of doing the checks, then I'll just wake up and there'll be a check or there'll be a deposit into my bank account. Ooh, I like this idea a lot. All right. So that's part of the boring business side of playing piano retirement communities. Let me know what your questions are. Like and subscribe to my YouTube, Facebook, and TikTok channels for more information about playing piano at retirement communities and making good money, putting smiles on the faces of seniors. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.